We're on. We're live. <clears throat> Clearing my throat, everyone. Hey, it's Aaron G. Thompson. Ghostcrier.com. You're seeing us on Vidi.Space, the haunted.Space. Um, we are doing something cool right now. We're at the the Granger house, and we're going to see if we can find anything in the cattle, the cattle house. So, I can't, I, I'm just fiddling with everyone, guys. This is, this is live happening. No cuts, raw stuff. Yes! Let's have some fun. Let's find some ghost. Um, yeah, we got Jared. Say hi, Jared. That's, uh, that's all man behind that cam. Uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is we got the other uh, team members positioned within this building. Uh, there's some pretty cool stories that came out of this. This whole structure, I believe this was put in after the home, but it was built in 1848. And it, it, it's cool in there, guys. So let's jump in there. We're going to use a, a new box from the maker of Spiritus. It's called, well, it's by Keith, and it's called Neko, or Necrophonic. There we go. And we're going to use the box. We're going to get to a good friend. Kelly, Let's see if we fill anything in there, guys. Let's do this, Jerry. If you can shut the door behind you. Sorry, I was born in a barn. <laughs> oh, I get it. I get what you did. It's not gonna pad like from the side, though. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm just gonna use the white noise generator, so it's just gonna be scanning white noise. Um, that's really it. We'll see if we can get anything from it. Let's see here. All right. Maybe. Live guys, right? Am I right? Can you feel how live we are? <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um, thank you for letting us in. This area uh, of yours, the cattle room. Can you, can you tell us your name? Right now you're on TV. What? I think we got something. Can you, can you speak again? You're right here? You're right behind me. I'm getting something. Can you, where's Kelly? Can you take me to Kelly? You know what? We're getting some good stuff uh, because it's only the same sound being the kind of that or the same. Uh, style of noise that comes through the uh, white noise generator here. So it's interesting that it's dipping around and, and uh, creating a little bit of noise, or a little bit of alternate noise. And we're going to add, we're going to add actual phone names, guys. So uh, where's Kelly at right now? So you don't know this game? <laughs> My name's Aaron. Can you say Aaron Thompson for us to make sure this is working? Did this get pulled out? A mechanical error. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't, I didn't hear your response before. Can you please say Aaron Thompson? Let's make sure this is working.
We're going to go this way, guys. Really dark, so be careful. What was this room used for? I said, can you hear us? Do you hear something like an animal or? No. No, it wasn't an animal. I thought I heard birds in here earlier. At least I heard a buggy. Yeah, we're in the carriage room. Are you watching us? Can you say okay. Kelly McCarville? Kind of change up the beat a little bit here. How you doing? I'm good. How are cool, you? Cool. Doing real well. Um, so I decided to bring this little little guy in here as well. Um, how is he? What was that? What are we doing? Well, we're just kind of getting getting used to the location, getting the feels in here, hearing some voices. How are you doing? How are you feeling? Cool. So now, for everyone I know, everyone who follows, watches us uh, at the Liddy Dot Space, the Haunted Dot Space, um, they, I'm sure they know who you are and what you do <laughs> and how awesome you are and Strobe <laughs> Um To tell the world what you do, what what kind of role do you fulfill on the investigative side? Um, so my job is to make Aaron and Nick think a little harder and rock their little science world. So it's all ones and zeros, people. It's not all ones and zeros. <laughs> it well, it is ones and zeros, but, you know. Yeah. Um, so I am a psychic medium. So when I go into a location, yes, I love the science side of things, but I go a lot with the messages that I'm getting, and I speak directly to the spirits and can pass those messages along and kind of help guide where we go to get the better messages. And It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good time. And she has, uh, she's, she has made us think <laughs> on numerous occasions. I tried. Um, yeah, yeah, you did a pretty good job. Are you, are you feeling anything in here by any chance? Um, it was pretty quiet in here while I was waiting. Okay. Um, Do they follow me? 
they, yeah. <laughs> they were, um, I was listening as you guys were walking through. They were definitely talking about the buggies when you guys were out there. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah I caught that. That's kind of cool. Which makes sense. I mean, that was one of the things when we were doing the walkthrough early. Uh, when I came in here earlier today, they were. Um, oh, they're called buggies, buggies too. Were, yeah. yeah. That was something that they were pretty proud of. So. But, um, Very cool. Yeah. You know, uh, there's a story where a full apparition was actually seen uh, yesterday um, by the the caretaker Adam, who who's mm -hmm. here often. I mean, this is pretty much unofficially his house. <laughs> yeah, he cares. He cares for this, so he's definitely built that rapport, of the energy. Yeah, and they're going to so absolutely important. connect with those people. No who doubt, are here most often. No doubt, and uh, he was out. Oh, actually, he was up here. He was over. Oh, it. You know, up it, up it, up it. Uh, light here. Uh, he's right over here working on this, and he caught full apparition with a gentleman, beard, and a white hat right there looking at him. How crazy is that? Do you have an idea who that may be? They had a lot of um, workers. Okay. That wandered in and out oh, okay. here. Okay. Um, and I think they had a lot of people that actually stayed here in and helped take care of the the horses and the buggies themselves. Um, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if um, oh, a lot of the feelings that I get in here are more residual, not necessarily that the spirits are still here. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised at all if you saw something like that. Okay. It's cool. Not to say that we're not still going to get some communication. I mean, obviously they were talking to us, but, um, but yeah, uh, I is... could see a whole lot of residual lingering. It birds in here, right? looking for light moving because I saw a light move right here. Well, there's some neighbors that have a porch. There's a lot of people walking around outside right, right. now, too. You got to holler at Holler! They're like, hey. Hey, right is, that, is that Ghost Crier over there? <laughs> yeah. <that>. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I just saw Ghost Crier. Keep dreaming. It keep. had to have been something. I mean, there's too many different windows and lights, but yeah, it kind of looked like something went over the top of it. So. Yeah, well, let's, uh, See if they can let us know where, where Nick is. Um, Kelly, I'm actually going to leave you that. I'm going to leave you the K2 meter. Okay. Um, and we're going to actually we're gonna go upstairs. Spoiler, that's where Nick is. But I'm going to see if the box can actually tell us. If you, can, <laughs> if you can't hear him walking above us. <laughs> This, this box thing is doing not justice. We'll turn it off. Some, something going on with this. I gotta figure it out. <laughs> cool. Yes. <laughs> hey guys, I know. Interrupt the conversation here. Where's where's Nick Simons at? Can you tell me where he's at? Hi. Come on. So, oh. <laughs> Come on. Can you tell me again where where's Nick at? <laughs> Up the stairs? <laughs> Let's roll up there. Let's go upstairs. We, we can talk with you with another device. We'll be right back down in a short session. Kind of close things off up here. This is pretty exciting. Uh, watch your step, Jared. There's nice ways. 
Stop. We got. We got to keep going. Good. Good. Good introduction to the great man Nick. Can you please say Nick Simons? What you're saying? Okay. Can you say Nick Simons? I will take it. Thank you guys. Just want to make sure you're here with me. Watch. <laughs> Pierce yourself with this. Uh, hey, buddy. How are you going? It's going good. How you been? You know, sweating it out to the oldies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Guys, I'm going next time. Jump away at that point. Can, can, can you tell us what you want us to do up here? <laughs> Come this way. We want to hear some some alternate communication. Uh, you guys, stick with us, all right? We love you. Thank you, guys. You cannot remember his name? Simon. Simons. Uh, one M. Yeah. My name's Aaron Thompson. Can you say that? Switch, switch now. <laughs> Something's there. Oh, yeah. Was not off, clearly. Um, so you're our SB7 guru, the master of the tool. <laughs> you've you've been around. Do all right. You've been around it once or twice. Um. I was just hanging out up here sweating, and uh, I explained already to the spirits up here what's going on with this device here in my right hand. Um, this SB7, it scans of all the frequencies of the FM dial on your radio, terrestrial, terrestrial radio, at 100 millisecs per station. So with that, we hope that the white noise and the clips of the stations going by create enough vibration for the spirits in here in this warm carriage house to grab onto the, those vibrations and actually stretch it out and form it into a word that they're trying to say. It's worked quite a few times. We have a quite the story history with this device here, this exact one. So I'm going to fire it up and uh, we're going to go from there. Is there anybody? in the hayloft of the carriage house with us right now. <laughs> There's no reception. The yeah, AM? No. Nope. FM? Yep. Are you sucking out all the energy possible? I guess. <laughs> Not an operator. <laughs> Might be able to hear you now. Oh. Nick. Nick Simon. Hi. That's my name. What's your name? Transient that came here looking for work and they put you up for the night in the hayloft here. Okay. 
We just got Granger. The place we're at is associated with the Granger family. Is this a Granger family member? I didn't catch your first name, but I definitely heard you say Granger. You gotta give me your name, friend. I uh, I've spent a lot of a uh, good portion of today going over your family history and all your names. So if you spit out a name, I'll be able to identify who we're speaking with. What? It sounds like said I don't know my name. It's like I don't. It could go slower, real nice and loud and clear for me. That's too fast, and this is a live cut, so I won't be able to go back and analyze the audio and hear your name. <laughs> Are you the one that carved your initials inside of this building multiple times outside? Are you a male or a female? Let's go there because I'm hearing a little mixture of both voices. Can you ask them to come down the stairs with us? I think we'll gather up in the middle area there, and we'll uh, we'll kind of close off for you folks. Well, you heard the man. <laughs> True. True. They hear us, guys. Uh, yeah, like, mm. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to gather up with Kelly, see if she senses anything else, see if any of the, uh, of the K2 meter hit. Watch this step, guys. All the steps use the handrail. It could be shaky cam on the way down, Judd. Don't be a hero, Billy. Who else is getting Malvern flashbacks? Back to the buggy. Hi. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing? Chilling in the buggy? Just going for a trip. Cool. Maybe K2? I, I don't think so. <laughs> My eyes were closed, sorry. <laughs> you know what? This new application heard kind of a cool feature on it when I was messing with it upstairs. Let's see if it can repeat. And we'll see 
we'll basically close things off. Um, it's a fun little area, guys. I think I do think you got some pretty good ketchup, sir. It is hot in here. You are glowing, Nicholas. Yep, I can feel it. <laughs> I saw it. We had one up there. We had one. It sounded like said uh, I. I don't remember his name. And then we heard Simmons go over. I was like, uh, uh. Okay. So what are we standing by, guys? Are you proud of something about around us? Are you proud of anything? Right by. Say get in. As much as I would love to, it's probably too friendly. <laughs> and I'm too so just get in. That is why there is that step in thing, because that ain't happening. <laughs> is it is there a possibility, guys, someone could touch my hand that I'm holding out? And make this make this light glow a little bit. Can you do that for me? <laughs> See where I'm standing? <laughs> There's somewhere in the buggy, should I? Can I grab my hand? Can I help someone step up to the buggy? <laughs> Okay. No. Okay, something? Yeah. People all over the place? Outside of my living room. There are, or you thought there were? There are. People over there screwing around in a truck. All right, guys. Well, you heard people screwing around outside of the truck. People take that cue to uh, close up. Hey guys, we're Ghostcrier, ghostcrier.com. We do a lot of stuff. Check us out. We're definitely on vidi.space. Um, yeah, we're doing stuff. We appreciate you guys following us for this, for this uh, one shot, <laughs> not at it, live moment. Um, the haunted.space, that's where you can catch us. Check us out, comment, follow. We love you. Guys. Good night. <laughs> Can you say good night? Henry. Henry? It's Henry a name? Henry is not a name. Henry, are you well, a I mean, transient? Earl, can you tell everybody good evening? Uh. Oh, what's that? Did it crash? Oh, that's weird. Oh, man. Oh. All right, we'll take us an out, guys. Well, like Apple beta tests the products. Oh, it's, oh, my gosh, guys. You hear this? We love you. Peace. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for watching. Hey, everyone. You made it to the end of the video. Hi. My name's Aaron G. Thompson, ghostcryer.com. We do this on a, on a standard that... Um, requires some resources to be uh, provided since we're since we can't do what we're doing uh, yet um, as a profession and we still have a nine to five jobs we do ask that you uh, support you know patreon.com if you see a value in us because we really are pushing the field here at ghost crier um, or uh, you know ultimately just just check us out on other avenues we have uh, a show we release on viddy.space you can get a subscription there, check out Breaking Frequencies. Literally, it's our love letter to the paranormal community, to you. Um, we go uh, break down the historical aspect, uh, the techniques, as well as the science behind it all. Um, it's Again, it's really kind of the full package. And no current uh, TV show really has all of that going on for it. So again, 
check that out. And you can also check it out on Amazon. Yeah, Amazon Video Prime. It's a thing, guys. So, cool. Love you. We're, like, we're really rated pretty well on Amazon right now, by the way. I don't want to curse us. But <laughs> we love you guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Expect more of these one-shot moments to be uh, popping on our channel. Peace, sucker. Love you. Thanks, guys.